it has been quite a while, I gotta say. You're living in quite a luxurious and cozy house. Of course, with the help of my money. The money I lent you. You haven't forgotten about it, have you? Of course you haven't, of course. So, you know why I'm here. I'm here to collect my money. So do you have my money? Oh, you don't. You know, it has been quite a while. You were away for a lot of time. I was beginning to think that you were trying to get away. You weren't trying, were you? Of course you weren't, of course. No, 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 no. I was just presuming. Looks like my presumption was false. Okay, so you don't have the money. Well, let me give you a quick recap of how much you owe me. Okay, so almost a year ago, you owed us 800,000 monopolies with the accumulated interest rate for the past 10 months. You have three hundred thousand monopolies multiplied by ten months. Let's see how much we are getting. This is the final sum that you owe us so far, which is approximately 4 million monopolies. That's quite the sum you owe us, my friend. So how are you willing to pay? In cash or maybe in credit card? I'm not sure which one you prefer, even though we only work with cash. But I'm quite the liberal loan shark, so I give you a choice. Are you sure you don't have the money? I see, so you weren't joking earlier. I thought you were trying to, you know, make some funny jokes. Well, your jokes weren't funny, but turns out they weren't jokes. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Why did you force me? into this. Now I have to be violent. And I don't want to be violent. I care about you, my friend. I care about your family and your sick mother. But you leave me no choice. I'm forced to be quite violent now. No? And why shouldn't I? You've got something for me? Enlighten me. So, the first thing you're giving me is this pair of sunglasses. They're quite nice, but you gotta give me more than just a pair of glasses. Although, I'll try them on now. They're broken. Are you joking with me? Plate scrubbers. But do you look like someone who cleans plates every day? I think you're taking me for a fool now. And what's that? Now you're offering me a size matters. Mug? Yeah, this is a pretty big ass and nice mug, but still. Not enough to pay up your debt. Again, you leave me no choice. It wasn't enough. And this brings me to violence. This brings me to be violent. Be really violent. It's quite the sharp stiletto knife. And your scalp is so soft. And 
and sensitive, sensitive to my sharp knife. Maybe if I explore it a little bit more to see if it's going to bleed already. Oh no, don't cry, because this hurts me more than it's hurting you. I don't like to hurt people, but when it comes to business, I'm more than ruthless. Oh no, of course not. I'm not gonna kill you. Not yet. Just stay still. Back for mercy. Even though begging doesn't bring up my death back. Uh, you know, I'm not used to bring out this beauty along with me. Even though it used to be stained with a lot of blood in the past. Now I'm trying to... Keep it clean, keep it sharp and clean, and avoid using it for business. Because business is dirty, you know, but it's business. We all gotta do business, right? I bet you're having a business as well? Oh, you're working in one. Pity you wouldn't understand what it's like to run a business because running a business is quite complicated. Maybe you'd like me to caress your face now. It seems to be really sensitive. Already getting red with my knife marks not quite the sensitive face what would happen if I just press a little bit on your face maybe to make a knife mark like that or a knife mark like that Yeah, that's better. Maybe that would also help on your scalp. Maybe if I press a little bit, just to check if it's gonna bleed. To see if you're gonna bleed like a pig. Because that's what you deserve. You think you can steal from me? What do you think I am? Some kind of a charity? I don't lend free money. I ask for it, eventually. I waited for you for a lot of time. Now that you've returned, I'm here for my money. And you're saying that you don't have any money. Then perhaps we should sell this house so you can pay up your debt. Oh, you bought this house for your mom. Oh, well. With every second you're making things more complicated. I don't want to leave the woman on the streets, but I want to leave you on the streets. I suppose I can continue with my ways of collecting money. I'm sure you probably inherited some money from your grandparents. Ah, you haven't. They didn't leave you anything? That's 
really unfortunate. Normally, grandparents leave quite the heritage to their kids. Are you taking me for a fool? Now you're trying to lie your weight out of here, which I find pretty, pretty nice attempt, but you know, I heard a lot of those stories. Such a brilliant little scalp already bleeding out. Well, in that case, I might as well stop doing that. Because I don't want to get you killed from bleeding out. Oh, Jesus Christ, haven't looked at your face. You're bleeding like a pig. Here, have some of my tissues. No, don't cry. Don't try to wake the sentiment in me. I'm pretty heartless when it comes to business. Plus, you're gonna ravage up your wounds. And no, I don't wanna get you killed because dead people have bad credits, you know. If you're dead, how am I supposed to collect my debt? Hmm. Keeping you alive is how I'm gonna collect my debt. It's how you're gonna pay me. I have nothing to gain from if you're dead. Right, that should do it. Now, I say I can make this bleeding stop. I just simply do a few hits as if you're a uh, baseball. Or maybe you're a face and try to gently break. How's that? Does it hurt you? It does? Well, it should. Which is good. So you can still tell me where the money is before I turn your face black and blue. Still don't know? Here, maybe this will fresh up your memory. Stay still. I'm trying to give you a nice makeup. Tell me, where is the money? You're gonna make things easier for both of us. I can imagine you're uh, a ball which I'm trying to get with my cue, even though that is not a cue, that's a baseball bat, but you get the idea. Stay still, I'm trying to hit you. Still don't remember? Too bad. That's really too bad. We need to work on refreshing your memory. Maybe have some kind of a particular amnesia. Well, I know just the cure for this disease. Violence. Sometimes the violence is the key. I'm not a fan of the violence, but sometimes it's necessary when it comes to gaining some important information or things. Or, you know, in the business. You know, a good way to maintain business is maintaining violence with it. happen if I decide to make a, a good swing and bash your head with it or maybe you could tell me where my money is I 
don't remember. You still don't remember. How about I bash your head? Maybe this will fresh up your memory. Hmm? What do you think? I give you a last chance before I swing my bat at you. Still don't remember. That was just a warm up. I'm still giving you a chance. It's like I'm giving you way too many chances for you to redeem yourself. It's always the hard way, is it? That was a pretty strong one. And it's gonna get stronger if you don't tell where my money is. All right then, suit yourself. How about that? Did you like this? Did you like me? Hitting you up in multiple places. I'm gonna make you a nice makeup. Maybe even a free plastic surgery. stop since I'm gonna kill you okay last chance I give you a very little time to pay up your debt now I'm not saying any exact time but the next time I come you better have the money you owe me on the table now if you'll excuse me I've got better things to do than waste my time with you me well I've got other fishies to visit, places to go, need to see. And remember, you owe me money, and the next time I come, you better have it. Till the next time.